What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the Skoda Inyak Coupe RS has been revealed that the Skoda Inyak Coupe 4, as it's known by its full name, is not a real coupe for obvious reasons, but it's still interesting and you can get past the confusing name. And although we've been promised a high performance RS variant of the conventionally shaped Inyak, the sleeker derivative is getting it first. As expected, the all electric RS is a Czech equivalent of the Volkswagen ID5 GTX. Now with 295 horsepower, 220 kilowatts, and 460 newton meters, 339 pound feet on tap, it perfectly matches with its sibling from Wolfsburg. Now the first RS model from Skoda to eschew the combustion engine is also the company's most powerful production car ever, eclipsing the all-wheel drive superb Sportline 2.0 TSI in both horsepower and torque measurements. Now, the electronic punch enables the Inyak Coupe RS to hit 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers from a standstill in 6.5 seconds and reach a top speed of 112 miles per hour, 180 kilometers, or 12 miles, 20 kilometers more than the lesser trim levels. Now, the dual-motor all-wheel drive range topper uses the big 82-kilowatt battery pack, which takes 36 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent now beyond this potent electric setup the rs version stands out courtesy of his mambo green paint inherited from the octavia rs now the swoopy shape was designed not just for the sake of style although that's subjective but also for better aerodynamic efficiency since the drag coefficient has dropped 0.234. Now that's actually considerably less than the 0.26 CD of the slipperiest VW ID5 or 0.27 in the case of the GTX. Now the flagship model gets Skoda's illuminated front grille aka crystal face as standard, complete with 131 light emitting diodes. Speaking of lighting, the electric SUV has matrix LED headlights and LED tails that add a sense of sophistication aside from better illumination. Now compared to a normal Inyak, the coupe sits 15 millimeters lower at the front and 10 millimeters at the rear courtesy of the standard sport suspension. The wheel size varies from 18 to 21 inches available in different finishes. And should the RS be out of reach, Skoda will also sell a Sportline version bringing similar styling and lowered right height but without the extra punch of the crown jewel. Moving down the range, there's a smaller 62 kilowatt battery and a single motor. Rear wheel drive models will either get the 177 horsepower, 132 kilowatt, or 201 horsepower, 150 kilowatt power. Now, depending on battery size, if you opt for the rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, the Inyak Coupe's range tops out about 339 miles, 545 kilometers in the WLTP cycle by combining the bigger battery with the 201 horsepower rear motor. At additional cost, optional heat pump can be specified for heating and AC use to lessen the battery juice. Now standard across the range along the panoramic glass roof is the 13 inch touchscreen for the infotainment joined by the 5.3 inch fully digital driver's display. Customers can also add features including the head-up display with augmented reality tech, a 13-speaker Canon sound system, and a wireless charging pad. Now, going on sale later this year, the Skoda Inyak Coupe will be the company's first expensive car ever, especially if we're talking about the high-performance RS model. The three EVs will arrive by the end of the decade, and all of them are going to be more attainable than the Inyak Duo. So with that said, what are you guys thinking about this Inyak Coupe RS? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll have a bigger discussion on this new Mamba Green paint and the new 2022 Inyak Coupe RS. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rides merch in case you guys want long sleeve shirts, hoodies, tank tops, t-shirts, everything Ron's Rides is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. It's everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.